Hey guys, what's up, how's it going? This is Skull Drawings. Today we're gonna go over a quick tip. I wanna talk to you about how to hold the pencil. I noticed that um, some people don't know how to do that and this is gonna be very, very step-by-step, -step, kind of very basic for total, total beginners, okay? This video is gonna be completely for beginners. So that's it, pay attention, it's not gonna be long. So when I'm using the pencil, if I'm just sketching for myself, I tend to just hold it like you would when you're writing. And even some parts I'd move with a wrist if it's in a small area. But if you wanna pull larger lines, you start moving your elbow as well. You gotta get your elbow into it. So that's not like writing, correct? And just, I'm moving my elbow, it's the only difference. I'm still doing it the same thing with, um, you know, in terms of the holding it in my hand. And then if you really have a large space, like you wanna do large curved circles, I'm moving my elbow and my shoulder right here because I wanna get that. And that's gonna be much harder to get with just my wrist. It's gonna be almost impossible. So you wanna throw your shoulder and, and elbow into it when you're doing really large curves. Or you can just throw your elbow right here for, or for tiny areas, you can just throw your wrist. So kind of remember that. Um, that's like just the starting line, correct? This is just how you start. Another thing, if we're talking about shading. Now, hold on, where's the sharpener? Mm. Okay, oh, there's a sharpener. So shading, similar, similar thing with shading as well. So when I shade something and I want to go very dark, or even not very dark, I tend to lay the pencil completely on its side. Not completely, but at an angle. And you have that. That's how you shade something, correct? You're not, when you're on, in its point, it's gonna be harder to get that. It's gonna have a different texture to it. Um, you gotta lie the pencil. So I kind of hold it somewhat like, like this. I almost use my three fingers. And what I do is I anchor my hand. I'm sorry. Yeah, I anchor my hand with my pinky finger. And so I can have some control over it. And now that I have some control in terms of, you know, up to down, I can control that much easier. See, I'm still anchoring my pinky to the paper itself. You have to be careful though, because when you're doing full-blown portraits and drawings, that pinky can smear whatever whatever you're shading. So you're gonna have to, what, what people tend to do is people tend to literally get like, I don't know, a post-it note right here, anchor their pinky on like a full-blown drawing, and then just kind of do it that way, you know? So they're kind of rubbing on this other piece of paper. Otherwise the oil from your hand the natural oil from your hand will get on the drawing and might smear stuff in this weird way. Um, but that's pretty much it. I really hope you learned something. Um, if you did, hit that thumbs up. Also, pretty soon, and I'm gonna announce it pretty soon, I'm gonna announce a program on how to teach yourself to draw and how to maintain yourself. Um, that's coming out probably within a month. I'm gonna announce it. Um, if you do want to hear about it once it's out, um, just sign up for the email list and I'm gonna have the announcements there. I'll put the link in the description. And then when you sign up, you also get like a free ebook anyway, so might as well. Um, thank you so much, guys. And I will talk to you in the next video.